guys um, welcome uh, to the tutorial on the debugger in code block so in this tutorial we are focusing on some uh, debugging environment provided by code blocks so i am using a windows 10 operating system so i just open the code blocks ide first now i am using 12.11 version of the code blocks id to debug any project in uh, code blocks we need to create project first so in the previous video i am demonstrating you how to create a project in code blocks now in this uh, tutorial i directly open the project which is created earlier so here in on my desktop there is a project called namely as project and in this we have one main.c file this main.c file is nothing but having two functions one is main function and another is sum function which will uh, calculate the sum of the numbers provided as a arguments okay now to understand the concept of uh, debugging uh, code blocks provide you uh, different uh, commands of debugging so let's start with the uh, uh, the process of debugging now what is the what is debugging first uh, uh, let let me brief you about the debugging debugging is a process of fixing or uh, locating some uh, some type of errors in your program some type of bugs in your program so by the uh, help of debugger tool we analyze each and every instruction in our program and find out where is the fault we can also use debugging to analyze our program so suppose this is my program of adding a two number so i apply some breakpoints on line number 8 and 9 so black points are applied using the f5 command or we can also use the toggle breakpoint Uh, from the drop down menu in the debug option so i just apply two breakpoints by pressing the f key on line number 8 and line number 9 once you toggle the breakpoints the next step is to debug your code now when you debug your code the code is uh, run and at line number 8 it will stop so to debug your code go to the debug option and uh, select a star or continue option you can also press f8 button to start the debugging so i just click on f8 uh, uh, click on this option and uh, the debugging start now once uh, the debugging is start because i apply a breakpoint on line number 8 my uh, debugger will stop at this point so the execution will stop at this point now here uh, there are three types of windows available one is your call stack other is your running thread other is your watches so uh, these windows appear can be appeared by going to the debug option debugging windows and these windows are there we are only dealing with the watches and call stack so let's uh, remove this running thread window now these two windows are important now uh, let's see what is happening when uh, the first two line have been compiled or have been debugged so because in first two line only three variables are declared and one variable is initialized so in the watches window i can check the values in these three variables so here you can type the name of the variable so because three variable a b c are there i can type the name it will give you the value and the type of the variable similarly i can type b and c so you can see that b gives you 8 and c gives you 65 so these are nothing but some garbage values so these values are uh, uh, are assigned uh, because uh, these variable names are nothing but address names so some addresses are displayed because there is no initialization have been done to these two variables so at line number 8 because one assignment operator is called on uh, operand b so after this instruction 
the b value would be updated so let's see how it would be updated so to go uh, uh, the control to the next instruction means to go to the nine number nine we use the command step into or we can say that shift f7 so i just press shift f7 so my yellow marker go to the line number nine and the value of b would be updated okay fine now in li at line number nine there is a function call function call means you have to jump uh, from the main to some another memory location because each function have some memory address in a stack so we need to assign a address to the main function so that when the execution of some function is completed the control is returned to the address which is maintained by the stack so to uh, look into this sum function or to go inside the sum function there is a command in the debug that is called step into instruction or we can also use alt shift f7 so from my keyboard i just press alt shift and f7 once you press alt shift and f7 the address is assigned to the main once you again press alt shift f7 the argument a will be updated then the argument b will be updated then these two arguments have been passed to the main and the control will jump to the sum function now you can see in the call stack the entry of the sum function has been made with the value of e and f as 5 and 7 so you are going to the line number 14 now the same command we have used to go to the next session we press shift f7 to step into it will go to the next line here you can also check that a b c are out of scope because the scope of these three variables are limited to the main function so the sim uh, the description provides you here is showing that no symbol a in the current context now you can also see the value of e and f variable so because e r and f are the local to the sum function the value of e would be 5 and the value of f would be uh, 7 now if you want to print the value of temp it will some uh, it will print some garbage value so this is 3801910819 is a garbage value because now control is at inst line number 15 where temp is not assigned now i again press shift f7 which will uh, go the control to the 16th line the temp will be updated here and uh, in the return statement when i again call uh, press shift f7 it will go end of the function then again shift f7 will jump the control to the main now from the call stack you can see the entry of sum have been re removed and the control is returned to the main function now similarly in the watches the e f and temp have been gone out of the scope because it is limited to the sum function and these variables a b c have been updated the c variable uh, value of 12 has been updated now again you press uh, shift f7 the control will go to the line number 11 and the print message will be displayed on the console you can check the console the sum of two numbers is 12 this is a print message so this is how you can analyze and debug your code in code blocks these are the windows which is helpful in evaluating or measuring each and every step of your code thanks for watching this video